Hey, black rain. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, black rain. Ooh, yeah. Hey, ha. Hey, black rain. Yeah. Hey, black rain. Ooh, yeah. Huh. Who you think is the best in the league? Black rain. Who you think these people trying to see? Black rain. Pros online still on my place. For what? Who you think these people want to be? Black rain. Who you know with a drift like this? Black rain. Who you know with a drift like that? Black rain. Who you know with a stick like this? Black rain. Hey, who you know with a stick like that? You reading e-books, but this is a pro read. Pro read. Sometimes I do this with no read. They said it, I'm sticky. They said I'm too OP. OP. I can be down 14, come back in the fourth, win the game out with no lead. No lead. If you ain't got 200 or better, I'm sending that back. Don't you even approach me, don't need to go pro cause you already know me. Yeah, hey, huh, yeah, hey, huh, hey, black rain, oh, yeah, huh, hey, huh, hey, black rain, oh, yeah, hey, 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 black rain, hey, hey, huh, yeah, yeah. All right, man, so right here, I am playing against Mr. Cutthroat. Every time he does a random, I swear, every time he does a random, he lands on Carolina, and Carolina is his favorite team. Like, it don't, it don't matter if he does one random and he hits Carolina, that's what he's sticking with. He don't care if he gets Green Bay or nothing. But right there, I got a nice skinny post and Dante Jackson is just on Fuller's heels, man. Could not score right there. But even though Green Bay is restricted, even if he could get Green Bay and land on Carolina, that's who he's getting. So I try to get Sticky right there and he's just not, you know, he's clicking on and off, on and off. Then he lets the computer do it. But second and goal right here. Had to run it back over in the flat, but I got the tight end right there late, man. Nice dot right there by me. 7-0 to start this game off. But I got a question, man. I got a question. So I want to talk about girls. Just want to have a simple conversation about girls. But actually, I got to ask you guys a question and put you in a situation just to see how you guys will react. Then I'll give you, my, uh, give you guys my opinion on how I will react. So for an example, uh, me and my girlfriend got each other's location shared. Why? Um, she's a female. She works at a bar. Uh, she works late hours. She's off at 2 a.m. sometimes. And she got to walk to the parking garage and, you know, get in her car and then go home. You know, so I like to I always have her location just to make sure she's safe and whatnot. I mean, we always text them, but I always like to know, you know, if she gets home safe or whatnot. So I check it every now and then just to make sure she's cool. Now, what if you guys checked your girlfriend's location and, you know, she's supposed to be at work. That's a nice bar right there by Robbie Anderson. He has, he has one of the best schemes with Carolina, you know, under center or whatnot, just best schemes. But let's say you check her location one time and she's supposed to be at work and she's not at work. Now, you know, you check it. She's at this random house you've never seen before. Nice interception right there by Elder. But let's say you check it. She's not where she's supposed to be. She's at a random house. And you just so happen to just pull up at the random house and it's just, you know, you see a Hellcat sitting out front. And you're just like, okay, this is not no, no. So, you know, you look in the window or whatnot, and you see her kissing another dude. Now, what would you do in that situation? You know, would you go in there and just bust everything up, beat the dude up, grab her out of there and, and slide? Or, you know, what would you do in that situation? So, me, personally, now, this is how I feel about it. Nice tight end delay. This is how I feel about it. I would never beat up or press a guy if, you know, it's, if my girlfriend is, like, she's over his house, how can I get mad at him? You know, because you got to think about it. It's a couple situations. Either she told him she's single. She told him, you know, I have a boyfriend, but he ain't doing this and he ain't doing that. And, you know, or three, he just simply don't care. Now, a lot of guys in that situation do not care. You know, there's... Why would the guy care? You know, guys, you know, girls get stolen from guys every single day. But, you know, me personally, I would not go in there and, and, and cause a ruckus and beat him up. No, just wouldn't do it. Just not me personally, because you got to be mad at her. First of all, that's your girlfriend. That ain't his girlfriend. You don't know him. So why would you personally get mad at him? You know, you should never press a dude over that should have been a pick you should never press a dude over a female you know now situation you could press a dude over a female you know let's say you know he's trying your girl and your girl just keeps saying no and whatnot and he just pressuring her and pressuring her and texting her and won't stop texting her and she's like leave me alone leave me alone now you have the right to you know 
you know, confront the guy or whatnot. But as far as, you know, she's agreeing to it and she's over there at his house and she's doing this and she's doing that. It takes two to tango. You cannot get mad at him because he's doing what any other guy would do. Look at this right here. How did he catch that? He's doing what any other guy would do. You know, how did you meet your girlfriend? You probably stole her from somebody. You know, she was probably talking to somebody and you came in and swept her off her feet. You know, so you cannot get mad at the guy in that situation. You know, we had a situation um, at the bar. So me and my girlfriend, you know, we have very good trust, man. We've been together like, what is it? Three years, four years would be December. December will be four years we've been together. Um, so when we go out to the bars or whatnot, my girlfriend's pretty. My girlfriend's pretty. You know, so if she's sitting alone uh, at a table, I expect the guy to talk to her. You know, I, I got to expect that. You know, if, if somebody, if your girl's sitting alone and, you know, guys are walking by and nobody stopped to talk to her, you need to reevaluate your girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah, on a serious note, so we go to this bar downtown Tampa named Saloon. Now, Saloon, uh, they got a pool table near the bathrooms. So, the line, I don't know why there's always a line for the guy's bathroom. Man, you go go in the bathroom 30 seconds and come out. But there's all, and there's four stalls in there. So, um, there's always a line. So, we always sit like in this corner. I like to sit like in the corner so I can actually see everything. You know, so we sit in the corner and the pool table's here. Okay, so if I'm in the corner right here, the pool table's here, but the bathroom's here. So, there's a line right here in between the pool table and the seat. Now, so I play pool a lot down there. You know, she's chilling. And I go into the table and whatnot and drink my drink and whatnot and conversate with her in between, you know, his shot or whatnot. So, um, a lot of guys will stop and talk to her. Now, I don't get mad and be like, yo, hey, hey, dude, hey, that's my girl. Wait, watch out, bro. Go. No, I don't get mad. I trust her enough. I'm comfortable enough with myself to know that, you know, she's going to reject them no matter who it is. And, you know, that's it. You know, so, um... Like I have, uh, and, and I trust her to have a, a normal conversation. Guy might come by, yo, you know, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, you know. What's your name? Shoot, my name's Gina or not. Oh, okay, mind if I sit down with you? Nope, I have a boyfriend. Well, he's not here right here. He's actually right there shooting pool. And no, I'm look now, when a guy just talking to my girlfriend, I'm not just shooting pool. I'm like, I'm paying attention or whatnot. You know, so as soon as I see the guy look at me, throw the deuces up, hey, what up, bro? Respect, bro. Cool. And that's it. You know, that's how grown men should handle the situation. He didn't know that I had a, a, he didn't know that I was, you know, her boyfriend or whatnot. You know, he just shooting his shot like any other guy would, you know, and you got to respect that. And and then whenever he, you know, show respect. Oh, my bad, bro. Cool. Done deal. You know, my go and be like, yo, what did he say? Oh, he just asked if he could sit down. Oh, cool. You know. That's that. I ain't about to go and press this man and get in this man's face and be like, yo, bro, that's my girl. Hey, watch out, man. You can't be talking to my girl. No, man. Any grown man know how to handle a situation like that, you know. Now, if it goes sideways and she like, you know, he, he like, can I sit down? She's like, no, I got a boyfriend. Oh, uh, man, he ain't over here. He's beep, 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 beep. And, and he, he ain't this and he ain't me and he ain't that. Then we can handle the situation differently. You know, but if it's always, if it's respect, then it's respect, you know. But um, as you guys seen, I was down 17-7, to uh, seven, um, starting to come back right now. He got the ball on offense. But like I said, are you guys overprotective with your girlfriend? Or, or you know, I am very overprotective of my girlfriend. But at the same time, you know, you got to be reasonable sometimes, man. You Now, if my girlfriend just out here just inviting random guys to come and sit with her at a table or something while I'm shooting pool or something, that's just, we ain't, that ain't my girlfriend, you know, so... Um, and, uh, another situation, um, my ex, so, uh, I was talking to one of my homeboys and, uh, and she had a crush on one of these, uh, she had a crush on, uh, like a movie actor or something. Might've been like Michael B. Jordan or something. And my homeboy was like, he'll take you, he'll take your girl. And she was standing right there when he said it. And I was like, listen, if he can take my girl, he can have her. You know, simple as that. And she got mad at me. And I'm like, hold on. How can you get mad at me? If he can, if you will, you know, willingly leave me for him and, you know, just throw whatever we had together away to be with him. As he one man rush and sack me. You know, if you're going to willingly just leave me like that, if he can take you, he can have you. What am I going to fight for you for? She really got mad at me because I said, if he can have you, 
you, you know, if, if he can take you from me, he can have you. If you willingly go, gonna go and be with this man, what am I gonna fight for you for? You know, <laughs> what, do, what, what do I have to fight for you about? If you willingly just go, so that was the situation, man. I was just like, yo, something ain't right, you know, and that's probably why she's my ex, you know. But in my situation, man, I never really worry about, you know, oh, my girlfriend likes this guy and he's gonna take her from me and as he run commit right here and we die. I don't really worry about that, man. I'm confident enough to know that my girlfriend is my girlfriend and if another guy come in the picture and, you know, she wants to be with him, then cool. You know, not saying that I don't love my girlfriend, I love my girlfriend a lot, but at the same time, I'm just not about to be out here just fighting over uh, a girl that really don't want to be with me and, you know, she see herself with somebody else. That's just something you just got to let go. I should have picked that off right there. But how you guys feel about your girlfriends and situations or whatnot, man? I like to come on here and have real life conversations with y'all, man. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers not going to come on here and, you know, give you the real deal. Holy feel. And that's what I feel like I do. I like to come on here and just have real deal conversations. But right here, man, I was down 17 to 7, man. Coming back. So what I, if you guys have been paying attention to this video and, and not just locked in on me talking, um... I was going man to man the whole first half. Now, with Carolina, what you cannot do is go man to man. And I say that simply because as he throws a ball that should have been picked off. And I say that because they got 95, 94, 93 speed receivers with 92 speed McCaffrey. Should have been another pick that has a playmaker. In all these routes. You cannot go man to man versus that. Because no matter who you got. Eventually somebody's going to beat their man. I don't know how he caught that right there. You know, eventually somebody's going to beat their man. So you cannot go man to man. What you got to do is run zones. Throw a lot of different zones out there. And you know while you're throwing zones out there. You got to depend on your you know your, your D-line to get there. Because all, uh, Carolina do not have the best O-line. Teddy Bridgewater is not the best quarterback. Anybody can read man to man. Anybody can see, okay, he got more separation than him right there. Throw that ball. But not everybody can read the zone. So as you see, I'm going hard flat. I'm manning up my safety right there on McCaffrey. And just watch the user skill that I'm displaying, man. Just watch the user skill. You know, because like I said, a lot of different zones out there, people be confused. You know, McCaffrey's manned up. Tried to play Megan McCaffrey. I'm playing that, playing that. D-line got there. Simple as that. You know, simple as that right there. RPO, we're not going for it. No, sir. Not a chance. Not a chance, bucko. So right here, 4th and 15. Pretty sure I'm running another zone right here. Because what I, yep. Got these two on here manned up. I'm playing that right there. Nope, 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 nope. I played the sticks. And that right there is a pick. That right there is a pick, not six. I wish I could have got six, but I, I I couldn't get it, man. But yeah, man, that's what you want to do versus Carolina. You just cannot sit there and run man to man all game, and that's what I figured about Mr. Cutthroat. So now, you know, he's a loyal sub on Twitch. Every time I'm in a stream, he pops in the stream. We get a game in. So what I gotta realize when I'm playing against him? Look at me in the pocket. Look at me in the pocket. Look at me in the pocket. He's only rushing one and spying one. That's fine, man. We're going to take our time back there. He's rushing Corn Elder. We're going to step up. We chilling right now. And then a laser. <laughs> a laser. But when I play him, I just got to remember to my... I need to start writing down notes. Like, hmm, this player right here, run this versus him. This player, run that versus him. And I don't do that simply because, you know, that's just not... I like to work on the fly. You know, I don't want to see him flip through notes. Hmm, this guy, hmm. hmm. Okay, cool. This is what I'm supposed to... No. I don't want to do that, even though that would be easy, but that's cheesy, you know. So I don't really want to do that, man. Um, what I'd rather do is just play on the fly. At, look at look how I'm look at how I'm reading all these routes. Tight end delay though, but that's like the weirdest thing on this game, man. Tight end delay is just so weird, man. But, but what I gotta remember, Mr. Cutthroat, Carolina zone. You know, as I'm rushing around the edge right there, it's like when you rush around one edge. And then he try to go to the other edge. I have contains out there, so them guys are not going for the foolery. Them guys are definitely not going for the foolery. So right here, you guys see I'm lining up on the left side. Looking like I'm about to blitz. Let him mic me. 
and I'm playing everything else. Let me get that again. You know, so zones is the way to go versus some players, man. And I'm starting to see that, man, because a lot of people just cannot read zones. They just cannot. They see man to man and be so happy as he's rushing one again. I step up, step to the side, run to the side, and go crazy right there. You know, but that's just one thing you got to worry about when you're rushing just one person versus me. Just uno person. You know, so I was down 17 to 7 and scored 31 unanswered. 17 to 7, 31 unanswered points. So uh, before we end this video, you guys let me know how you feel about the situations I, I talked about with the females, you know. Um, are you are you like just like I understand like that's just my opinion, you know, my opinion is not always right. It's not always the right thing to do, it's just my opinion, you know, that's just how I see things. But I feel like my opinion is going to be the most logical thing to do in, in, in most situations. So, are you guys, do, do you guys feel like you guys are more protective? And uh, if you guys catch your girlfriend cheating, are you just going to run in there and beat him up? Or how are you going to handle that situation? Yeah, let's, let's do it like that. If you catch your girlfriend cheating, like, I'm not going to say, like, kissing. If you catch your girlfriend kissing another guy, how would you react? What would you simply do? You know, are y'all going to stay together after the fact or what, you know? Me personally, we ain't got nothing to talk about, you know, but that right there was a GG, man. That right there was a GG. Thank you guys for watching the video. Catch you next time. Peace. Whatever. So they do the research and whatnot, and they're going to say, you know what? We are going to go in for a, this is a buy, this is a sell. So for an example, if I click this button right now, I want that blue dot to be lower than um, wherever I buy or wherever I sell that. If I click this, I need my blue dot up there to be higher than this green. So right now, I just went in for a $40 sale. Now I need this blue dot to be lower than this red line when it gets here. So right now I am heavy in profit right now. Like this is heavy profit. Now people wonder when do you get paid and you know, this and that, how you get paid. So if I win or lose, you will see the pay right here and you can withdraw whenever you want your money. So, all I'm doing, all I did was click buy or sell. I put my I put my purchase time, I put how much money I want to trade. All I did was listen to the strike price. When it get one of these last three digits, I just click buy or sell and I just let it sit here. Now, at this moment right now, I am winning. But it's going up, it's close, uh, I have what, 14 seconds left, but I'm winning. If this blue dot stays below this red line, I just made money. I just made $74.80. Went straight to my account. Voila, that's Forex. I just made money. That's all you have to do. If you can get on and just listen to somebody tell you, when to press green and when to press red, you can make money. If you're interested, even if you're just a little bit interested, I can definitely get you some more information so you see exactly what's going on. Shoot me a text at 813-293-5292. That's my cell phone number. Hey, this is literally the cell phone number right here. Shoot me a text. Text me when, W-I-N, you know, because guess what? Once you join the Forex team, you're on a winning team. All right, now let's get back to this content. All right, let's do this. For daily sticky uploads, follow me at YT Black Rain 4 on TikTok. For hoodies and t-shirts, click the link down below in the description. Black Rain's bin. That's where you get all your gear at. For funny stories and motivational stories, follow me on Snapchat at Black Rain 4. And for the latest news on everything, follow me on Instagram at Black Rain 4. And last but not least, if you want to play anybody in Rain Gang, look down below in the description. All the information is down there that you need. You dig? You dig, you dig, you 